All right, so I kind of challenged 20 other YouTubers to a contest to see who could declutter the most in 15 minutes. And I know what they're thinking. Dawn's house is like, she's a minimalist. Like they don't have a lot of stuff to declutter, right? Uh, are you gonna say that they forget that you have me? I was gonna say that I'm gonna count on you to be a little bit creative here <laughs> <laughs> with some things. So today I wanna show you a few tactics for uh, getting the kids involved and how to help them uh, purge some of their stuff and some other tips when it comes to decluttering stuff that you're just not sure about, um, a tactic that we can use for that. And then I'm just gonna let Tom go all out for 15 minutes and see what he I was gonna say, I have some with. ideas. I kind of thought you would have some creativity. So we're gonna start the clock. We're gonna get started and see how much we can come up with. Well, this video is part of our mega motivation collaboration for July. So like I said, there's 20 others doing a 15 minute like power declutter too, because sometimes we just need to switch it up. If you feel like you're in a rut with decluttering, you just gotta do something different. And it's always fun to see what others are getting rid of too. So uh, I have one thing I wanna task Tom with, and then I'm also gonna show you how I'm gonna get the boys motivated to declutter a whole bunch of their stuff as well. So a little while ago, we dismantled our family room or our TV room where we had our TV. Mm -hmm. uh, so the good thing is we're getting one really big win, this ottoman that we're sitting on. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that in a minute. But we also have our old TV. And Tom and I have been going back and forth because we're just not sure what to do with it. And we're trying to decide if we should hang on to it and store it for, you know, a use another day or if we should just let it go. So what I wanted to task you with, besides finding some other big stuff to declutter, is would you go on Marketplace and see what a 50 inch TV non smart is that a 50 it doesn't i just seem... measured it oh, I was yeah. gonna... you went corner to corner corner diagonal yeah okay because in my mind i'm still imagining the 450 dollars that we paid for it originally but i know that's not what it's actually worth now to replace it so i'm feeling like if you could find out what it's worth on marketplace right now that will help us make a better decision if we actually want to store it and keep it and try and protect it until we would use it again or if we'll just part with it and get another big thing to put on our donation pile. <laughs> so can I task you with those two things? Yeah, what was the other thing? Find some big stuff to declutter. <laughs> uh, I got plenty of big stuff to declutter. All right, you can go then. All right, so now I wanna show you how I'm gonna get the boys involved. Okay, so these two are actually usually pretty willing to declutter your room, aren't you? You go through it every once in a while and we just get rid of stuff you're not playing with or wearing and, and you do a really good job. But I thought today, uh, because we're trying to win this competition, that we would go a little bit further. So I have this box here and I thought I would offer you guys $2 each if you could fill this box with stuff from your room. Oh yeah, I got <laughs> lots of stuff to declutter. Is that good motivation <laughs> for you? Mm -hmm. All right, so you can put in toys, you can put in clothes, anything you're not playing with or wearing anymore can go in this box, okay? What about Legos? We got way too much. Anything you want to put in it? Okay. No, okay. not Legos. You guys have to agree on it though. You can't like get rid of Gage's stuff, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, so can you guys go head upstairs and see how full you can make this box? Okay. Awesome, thank you. All right, so while they're working on that, I want to show you a few things that I'm decluttering as well. So when we did the kitchen declutter and decorate, there was stuff on the shelves, and the question came up, what are you gonna do with that stuff? So I do have one bin downstairs that I keep like decor stuff in. It's like seasonal, but there would be room to put some other stuff in there if I wanted to. But what I decided to do, I usually have a donation box sitting right in that corner of this living room. And so I decided that I was gonna put it in the donation box until I was ready to bring the box again and just see if I thought I would miss any of it. I had gotten like this oops, thing I thought was kind of cute. Um, I had gotten the last time I decorated those shelves. I also, I showed this that I got and I didn't even end up using it. And then I had this pumpkin on there. This was $3 from the Target dollar spot. And so I was trying to decide, do I want to store any of this stuff? Do I anticipate that I would use it again? Or should I just let it go? So by letting it sit in the corner since then, it's been a month actually, 
It gave me a little time to decide if I was ready just to let it go. And honestly, when I looked back in here, well, I had forgotten that I had put it all in here. And I was like, oh, no, I'm totally ready to part with all of that stuff. So I'm gonna donate all of this stuff now. And then also I had these frames and I thought I was gonna put them in the boys' bedroom when we redid that. And then I thought, well, maybe we'll use them in the foster care room and our extra bedroom. And even recently I was like, I don't know if I would use it as a picture frame in there, but maybe I could put like some cork in there and then they could still hang up pictures. But we did get those shadow boxes so they can put their own artwork in there. So I'm like, would it be nice to have something like that? They could put pictures in, but then I'm like, well, do we wanna do push pins because then is somebody gonna use that? To, as a weapon or something, you know, and then I'm like, oh, I don't really want push pins falling on the floor or little kids with push pins. And so it like was turning into this whole thing and I'm like, Dawn, just donate the frames, right? Just be done with them and don't have to take on any other project or have to put any more thought into it. So I am just gonna donate those frames and I hope someone is super excited when they find them at the thrift store. Why are you wearing your sandals? <laughs> Are you guys seriously done already? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You were only up there for like five minutes. <laughs> wow, the, the couple dollars really motivates you guys. I'm gonna have to use that again. Wow. And the Santa hat. And the Santa hat, okay. So that's all stuff that you're okay to part with? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't really use these toys anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'll probably take a quick pass through it and then otherwise, otherwise I'll get you guys your money in just a second, okay? Good. All right, thank you. I forgot that you were gonna give us money. Oh, you just did this for fun? Yeah, we really want to do such <laughs> Yeah, way too much stuff in it. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. <laughs> and uh, it's really fun. And it's really fun? Yeah. Wow, that is music to my ears. <laughs> I'm seriously amazed that they're done already. That's remarkable. All right, so one other thing that was in our TV room that we had been going back and forth of, if we should get rid of it or keep it, was the storage ottoman. And it's very functional. It's an ottoman. You lift it up. You can store blankets and stuff in there. So it's a very functional piece. So the thought is, well, maybe we should keep it just in case we would want it again, right? And then, so it's been in this living room just sitting like on the edge here. And uh, you know, I kept looking at it, I'm like, I could reupholster it, I could chalk paint it, <laughs> just kidding. Um, yesterday I looked at it and I'm like, I don't even like it, I never liked it. We got it because it was on clearance when we got our couch and so it was inexpensive and functional and that's why we got it. And I'm like, I don't even like it. So why am I figuring a way to try and save it for another time hoping we would use it somewhere? Now, if I knew exactly where we would use it and when we would use it, that would be one thing. But again, I don't know if or when we would use it. And I really don't like storing stuff for someday or just in case, because very often something happens to that stuff in the meantime, right? Even the TV, it could get broken or wet or damaged or something or dropped, you know, in the meantime before we would actually use it again. And so I really don't like storing stuff for just in case. So the ottoman is going and it's even kind of dirty too. And I didn't want to figure out a way to try and clean it. So it's gone. So that's going. And I'm going to go check in with Tom, see if he had any luck figuring out what this TV is worth and if he's found any other big stuff to declutter. Okay. I heard something coming up the stairs. <laughs> this is Ooh. one of three trips I will be making from the basement. Ooh. This is our old softener. Awesome. Good size. Thank you. It doesn't work anymore. <laughs> All right, here comes trip number two. What did we win this time? <laughs> Not even really sure what you call this thing. All right, this sounds like an elephant. <laughs> I was just coming up the stairs. Ooh. Wait, we don't still need that downstairs, do we? No, nope, we have a new one downstairs. <laughs> have we mentioned lately that all the utilities in the house needed replacing? <laughs> all right, so you found some pretty big stuff. What were those things you were bringing up? Uh, water softener, hot water heater, and uh, I don't even know what the other thing was. It went with the water softener, right? Mm, something to take something out of the water. Okay. That has never worked since we bought the place. There's that. Yeah. All right. So I think we have a pretty big pile going. Oh, I also forgot the girls are gone today. And so we had them go through their room before they left. So I have a bag of clothes that they're donating. And when they were younger, I would go back through it, make sure they weren't donating anything that I like wanted them to keep. But now that they're 10 and 11, they know what they wanna wear and don't wear. And so 
I have veto power for like going to church or like a family gathering, but beyond that, we pretty much just let them wear what they wanna wear now. So I'm not even gonna look through this. The boys box, on the other hand, I'm gonna go through that real quick because. <laughs> Especially with how fast they filled this box. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's always finding that balance. Like we don't want our kids to be overly attached to their stuff, but yet you also don't want them to be careless with it either, right? So I'll make a quick pass back through that, make sure there's nothing that I don't want mm -hmm. them to get rid of. So I have one more item that I wanna add to the pile outside. Can I okay. do that? Is it big? Uh, yeah, I'd say she's pretty big. All right, let's see what it is. All right, I'll be back. Actually, you guys gotta come outside because I can't bring it in here. So I'll All be, right. you come with me. All right, so Tom wanted me to bring everything out here. So he's got his stuff there. I brought my stuff out and I don't know. I think that's a pretty good looking pile. I think that'll work. <laughs> if this doesn't say I love you, I don't know what does. You mean that I'm willing to part with my scrap pile? <laughs> yeah. What was the story behind that truck? Uh, I took the engine out of it for a LS swap. That never happened. I still have the engine. Uh, but then I just started, it's, it's complete, it may, it looks fairly nice, but it's not. There's like no floor in any of this truck. I, I don't know that any of us were thinking so it was I've like been, salvageable, Tom. <laughs> I've been filling it with scrap metal for the last year. All right, so you're ready to pass uh, it on now? Yeah, let's get rid of it. All right, sounds good. If we don't win, I'm going to be pretty <laughs> amazed. <laughs> well, we don't have an ottoman anymore, but we have a pretty big pile. <laughs> yep. But I realized we forgot to talk about the TV. So what did you mm. find on Marketplace? that a similar TV to this would be worth? Uh, between 125 and $200 is what I, kind of the average of what I found. There were some lower, but I threw those out because they're probably junk TVs. Okay. So, so I'm gonna leave this completely in your court. What do you think we should do with the TV? Do you wanna store it and find a place in the basement to keep it? Or should we uh, either donate it or sell it on Marketplace and... Let's give it to your brother. Let's see if he wants to put it in the basement because he's oh, been sleeping yeah. down there. That's true. The basement that we renovated and that we lived in, he's living down there now. So maybe we just give it to him. That's a good idea. Well, yeah, I mean, if someone could make use of it now, there's no yeah. sense in storing it, right? Yeah. I like that idea. Okay, yeah. so the TV, wow, we could add that to the pile. I don't think we need to add it to the pile, but I mean, we could. if you guys, if it's close, remember we gave a TV away. <laughs> All right, so we're going to let that go. And of course, it's always good if you can take it to the donation center right away, except they were full of furniture, so I didn't get to leave the ottoman here. So that's a bummer. Tom's not gonna be happy to see it coming back home. Uh, what can you do? Well, now it's your turn. How much could you get decluttered in 15 minutes? It's amazing you just have that like focused time and you're like, okay, everybody go, here's your box. You really can get through a lot of stuff. And be sure to check out the playlist with all of the other 15 minute declutter videos to see, I mean, you're the judge. You see who wins this competition. And thank you so much for watching. We love you and we hope you have a really good day. Bye-bye.